Let's look at sports news now. Judith Kiang hopes to follow in the footsteps of her elder sister, having Kiang and bag a world title for Kenya in the 1500 meters at the forthcoming World Athletics Championships in London. Kiang was among athletes who made the Kenya Defence Forces team to take part in the national championships. Judith Kiang won a hotly contested 1500 meters final at the Kenya Defense Forces Athletics Championships in a time of 4 minutes 13.13 seconds ahead of Winnie Chebet of Rongai Running Club and Sela Jebleting, who was second and third respectively. <laughs> In the 1500 meters men final, Charles Simoto won the race, earning himself a ticket to the national championships with hopes of an eventual ticket to the national trials and a place in the Kenyan team to London. A duel between national 400 meters champion Alphas Kishoyan and Boniface Moresa treated spectators to a spectacular race at the Nyao National Stadium with Kishoyan reigning supreme. of the Kenya Defense Forces Athletics Championships paves way for the Prisons Athletics Championships set to start Friday at the Nyao National Stadium. Lynn Washira, KTN News. Okay, KCB RFC's David Shege will captain the national 15th team set to depart for a 10-day training camp in South Africa ahead of the busy season. The Simba 15th 2017 squad will also see the return of Wilson Kopondo as the overall captain. Fresh from winning the Kenya Cup with his club, KCB's David Chenge is looking forward to taking up his leadership role as captain of the Simba squad that will travel to South Africa for a training camp and play build-up matches. They look for me, look up to me for guidance and also for, mostly for guidance and also for morale boost. My training has been good, uh, there's been good energy in camp. Uh, we've had a chance to focus on all the aspects of the game. Chenge is delighted to have overcome a nagging injury and made it back to the national squad at a time when all eyes are on the 2019 World Cup qualification. I think uh, the last qualifiers were a good lesson for us. We learned a lot. We learned that we, we can't play, we can't win, we can't qualify for the World Cup. And also at the same time, if we, we slack in a bit, we can lose the opportunity because last season we only needed one point. We have so many games this year. That is more than eight international games, uh, both home and away. We might end up playing more than 10 games. So we are also exposing the young players uh, 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 to high level intensity uh, 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 rugby so that we do not lack players in any position. And when you look at the combination of the team right now, the blend of the youth and the guys who are in that former World Cup, then definitely you know that some good work is happening. The blend of young and experienced players sees the return of Wilson Kopondo, who missed out last season with an injury, as well as Biko Adema, who returns to 15's rugby. Kopondo has an X factor. He brings in now a lot of reach and, 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 uh, and uh, exposure that he's gotten now as a captain. Remember, at the age 15s, we picked Biko Adema, the Kenya 15s. I'm glad that now that um, he's done quite a lot of work for the Sevens. We are proudly having him back at the 15s where he belongs. The Simbas are off to South Africa ahead of a busy schedule comprising of build-up matches and test matches to be played at home and away. Focus, however, remains the Africa Cup next year where Kenya hopes to gain an automatic qualification to the 2019 World Cup in Japan. Lynn Washira, KTN News. 2013 Stipultius World Champion Milka Chemosa sent out a warning to race organizers exploiting athletes by luring them into races and failing to pay prize monies to the winners. Chemosa speaking during the launch of the first edition of the Muli Half Marathon set for Sunday in Yata, Machakos County. The Muli Half Marathon will comprise of the main 21 kilometers race and of course the five kilometer race as well.
This is the first marathon that we are holding, uh, but the plan is to have a marathon on an annual basis. So this is not something that will, will start and end only in this year. No, it's something that we hope will continue to run in many years to come. And our hope is to be able to attract as many elite athletes, but also at the same time to have people participating, even young, young people as well. Because what Muli Children's Family would like to do is to have uh, a centre, a theatre, where we can carry out training um, of young people who have a talent uh, to participate in future uh, athletics competition. So we have so many races. But few, few of them face athletes. So I hope Muli is going to pay them so that we'll not have that quarreling thing that of uh, following one another. I believe. Mm. That's where we wrap it up on KTN Prime. Thank you so much for watching. Allow me to apologize for not being able to run that story touching on the nomination of Wiper leader Kalonzo Musioka's son to the East African Legislative Assembly due to unavoidable circumstances. Um, but we thank you all the same for writing in and for being part of the conversation surrounding this story. And that is where we wrap it up. On behalf of Meresha Owete, there at the bottom end of our screen, and myself, have a good night. We'll see you tomorrow on News Centre.